The horse is the, like the, the connection for a human being between earth and heaven. So the horse is four legs of the four quarters of the earth, and then the human being sits on the horse's back, and his, the horse's relationship to the wind, he's, he's a wind horse, he's a spirit horse, and he, 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 he flies and rides the wind, so he can carry a human being into relationship with the heavens. And, um, and he's, of course, he takes us off the ground. We're not grounded in, in, in ourselves. We're suspended between earth and heaven. And for the Native Americans, you know, this is their tradition. Happy birthday to got injured in the process. Yeah, he was on the side of a Beale Street, like right next to the white line on the pavement. Mm. He's an artist. <laughs> like you. You're going to take off to your friend. Do it in a little dark color. No, that's not right now. Right now, I'm just making the shape of it. I know he needs a longer neck, so. He's a neck. He's a neck. Taking back into here a little bit. This is a love song, of course. Hello, you two. Hello, Hello, Billy Darling. We did an art show for my mother that was my idea in the city at my studio yeah. a few years ago. But then this year, Billy was like, we should put some of her art up for her birthday party. And I was like, that's a great idea. So we just went to town and we gathered a little bit of everything, but not everything. There's still some pieces missing. She is a PhD of art history. So she is an incredible resource for all things art history. She specialized in sacred architecture, was like her main passion, but that merged into so many other things. She also did dream portraits of people, so she would literally work with someone for like a year, talking to them about their dreams and taking notes and pulling imagery, and then she would make an, a portrait of a person that was not their face, but was a portrait of their dream world, of their unconscious. It was pretty amazing. I am a graphic artist, poet, maker of assemblages and masks, small bronze figures, and giant puppets. 
and an art historian specializing in comparative iconography and ritual art. My artwork is exhibited at juried and invitational shows and is included in private and institutional collections and in books and journals. I am especially indebted to J. Lee Settlemeyer, sculptor, painter, and distinguished wildlife artist. Lee was my mentor in comparative autonomy, portraiture, and traditional materials and techniques. Later teachers included painters Lee Hall and Hal Woodruff, and Bob Blackburn of the Printmakers Workshop, with whom I studied etching, engraving, and lithography. My doctoral committee included Professor Joseph Campbell, author of Hero with a Thousand Faces. After graduate school, my husband and I continued our studies in comparative iconography and mythology. Professor, Professor Joseph, Joseph Campbell, Campbell was a major, was a major influence, influence in, this regard, in this regard, and we wrote a and book, wrote on, a his book on his life and work, and work called, called A Fire, a fire in, the Mind. in the Mind, and we are the co-founders of the Center for Symbolic Studies, a healing and performing arts center where we celebrate the mythic heritage of our multicultural community. Our seasonal festivals on our farm at the center in Rosendale feature music, dance, and theater with giant puppets, supporting the work of young artists in collaboration with other artist organizations. These festivals are enthusiastically supported by the public. To talk to us about the meaning of Beltane. Beltane means the beautiful festival. Those of you who come to our year-round festivals know that we celebrate the cross-quarter festivals. So Beltane is around May 1st. Have you heard that this is our 28th Beltane? So... Our Lady Gaia rises from her bed of wintry sleep of sleep in the, the fertile darkness from which all life comes. And she wakes and puts on her beautiful green gown of new life and dances to bring in the new season, the new life. So this is the way that we have been doing this to keep the year turning from spring to summer to fall and to winter. The cycle of years goes around. And so in ancient times, the people of the land knew how to do this act of white magic. They, they hastened it along. And the idea was to make the earth fertile and to bring up the crops. Some of you may have heard that Beltane is associated with some, uh, some racy forbidden things. Uh, the young people would go out and mate with each other in the forest, and they were given full permission to do this. <laughs> so, one of our Beltanes, about probably ten years ago, Robin was leading the procession, but there on the hillside was a couple without any clothes on, making merry in the wrong place. And so, the joy, the sexiness, of the people was supposed to infuse the land with fertility and make all the flowers and vegetables spring up. Has anybody noticed after that last rainstorm that everything just jumped up and turned green?
acreage around here, farmer. You ever think about selling any off? And he looks at me in this funny way and he says, you want to buy the whole goddamn thing? <laughs> Famous words. And I said, uh, sure. Uh, well, let, let's walk around and let's see something. So Robert and I, he directed us out to the location of where my house is now and the meadow. He wanted us to see the waterfall. So he, uh, he sent us out here and we stood in the meadow about... A, hundred feet away from this spot and Robin and I looked up at the cliff and we both had big time shivers and said, you know, I think we're going to spend the rest of our lives here. So uh, we drove back to the city in a blinding snowstorm that was, uh, the flakes were coming right at us, but we were in, in a, a bullion good mood in the, uh, in the bus. And we said, I think we're going to try and buy that place. So we came back up and we got one little...